Okay, folks, as you can see, uh, we have uh, Valentine with us today. And this is the video for December 10th. And he's going to talk about a book, but before he does, and his book is called Warrior Women with Angel Wings. But I've been, I'm doing a lecture tomorrow about Anastasia, who is a warrior woman with angel wings, <laughs> more literally than probably anybody that we've ever heard of. And I have nine books by Vladimir Megra that talks about this warrior woman with angel wings. So I'm excited to hear what Valentine has to share about the book that uh, he's mentioning. Oh, that's wonderful, because I'm going to go with the warrior women with angel wings came in so strong to bring this out. I had no idea you were doing about Anastasia, which I'm really, really happy that this is coming out. You know, this information regards to the enlightenment of women, you know, women that really want to make a difference on the planet. Like Mother Teresa, I talk about it in the book. Mother Teresa was for the poor and the dying in India, for example. We need to start embracing the feminine energy and, and help and help with the enlightenment. The women are ready, I hate to tell you, but they're gathering together. And what you're seeing is, along with this, with this book and with Anastasia, the women are saying, hey, look, they got talk shows now. They're, they're, they're saying, hey, we're not gonna stand for the, uh, the lies and deceit and the, and the, and, and any longer. And they're going after, obviously, the power of the men. And you see it, I mean, it's exclusive. Dr. Oz brings on. Now it's the pop star, you know, that abused all these years. Everything's coming out on the men. I mean, well, I mean, we've we've been living under the a tyranny of psychopaths and demons for a long time on this planet, and it's time to turn it around. Whatever method that's going to be, God, extraterrestrials, it has to turn around. Yes. Yes, and, and what's, what, that's what I'm saying. And the women, they know. They know that they gather together. They know that they are enlightened. They know that they're natural born with disability. They, they know things. When you call it psychically, you want to call it enlightenment. They're spiritually awake. They birthed a child. They bring us into this Mother Earth. And they're running the planet, but it doesn't look like they're running the planet. And I'll give you an example. You know, if, we're, if they're going to run the planet, you're going to need plenty of money. So you're going to need plenty of banks around the world because each household's going to need a bank because women spend and they need a chocolate tree to keep them happy. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> in the backyard or on the, on the property. I'm serious. Well, I don't agree that we need money or banks. I think that's part of the slave system. Well, I'm saying if we stay in this system right now, we, we're going to need a bank and a chocolate tree to keep things going. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we have to look at this. I mean, I'll tell you, the, 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 you know, the, the fires in Southern California, I have personal friends and I live there in La Jolla, Encinitas, Carlsbad. You know, it, it, it's showing what's happening in the world, Mother Earth. Well, they're, they're starting those fires. Yeah, they, they have are. trees that are literally burning from the inside. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, insane I mean, stuff. Yeah. And it's just, it's melting, it's melting metal. Yeah. That's how yeah. hot they are. It's not a natural fire. No, exactly. And so that's what's happening is, in, and they're aware of this. You can't have 6,000 firemen and they're falling apart. I see these men, they get getting for oxygen. You need to get a structure together from all around the world to, to, to not, not, not a disaster when, when everything's a disaster. Before the disaster, preventive. They have to start protecting their lands and their properties in, in, in all over the world. Well, they can't when you've got psychopaths operating yeah. the machinery and the yeah. technology that creates the, the calamities. Yeah. I They're man-made calamities. They're not yeah. natural. Yeah, well, people, people, I'm getting calls from, I mean, he, he's a director. Bill was working on the movie with me. I go, he goes, he calls me, he goes, he goes, I'm watching, I'm watching the fire. I said, how far is it to your home? He said, two miles. I, he goes, I go, what are you going to do? He goes, I'm a, you know, his humor, I'm going to jump in the pool. He doesn't want to leave his property and lose his land. You know what I'm saying? 
but he, he would jump in the pool to try to save his property if he could or his cell. That's, that's how urgent we're, we're, we are on the planet right now. You know, the ambers, what we call volcanoes, they're, they're, they're all blistering right now. The earth is like not, you know, spewing out, going, we had enough. We had enough, right? Like you said, the ambers, you know, it's, it's just melting and melting. And I think that's the cleansing, Ron, that's going on. Not only the cleansing, but, but the melt through, the breakthrough. We need to break through. Like the women are breaking through. I hate to say it, but the women are coming out every which way and taking all these power guys down from Washington. You see it every day. But what I saw with Dr. Oz yesterday, it's going to be a tsunami. This, this attorney, Eldridge, whatever, said, you haven't seen anything. It's going to be a tsunami in 2018 with all the men and the people that are going forward to take all these people of power, these psychopaths, like you said, that are in, way out of balance. And, and they're going to be, they're, they're going to, they're exposing them every which way, every day. You're seeing it. Senator after Senator. Hey, listen, it's no title no longer. It's your soul and your spirit is going to have to answer for what you do on this earth. You know what I'm saying? Accountability. And I think the accountability, it, it's up. And the women are saying, okay, we had enough. We have to come and, and, and we have to do something to help it, help in our communities and our families. We, we got to step out. And the men that are, are enlightened, they're paying a big price because these men have been going forward. There are good men on the planet. You have to, you know, you got to keep going. But we're... We're, we're not able to unite together. And that's, that's, that's where we're not, our power's not come. We're not coming together. Well, our religions have produced separation consciousness. Yes. You yes. know, my way is the only right way. That's BS. Right. Love <laughs> is the only right way. It has nothing to do with religion. Exactly. Exactly. And what I was saying, what I said in the book and everything, Ron, you know, about the women. I mean, it says here, the spiritual journey of women in the nation. Uh, women in the nation, men in the nation. We, uh, I did a warrior men with angel wings that came out, as you know, in uh, uh, October, November. This one came out in July, but it was never approached. We talked about, but we never showed the book because it was sent over to Molokai to me. And then we did the program and I didn't have the book. So that's why I'm bringing this in dedication to humanity today about bringing together the feminine energy the warrior women and bring in, it brings one woman in particular to mind. I reflect on this subject, Mother Teresa, devo devotional work among the poor and dying of India, won a Nobel prize for peace in 1979. We need a big Nobel prize around the globe right now with people that are the, all the good people and the hearts that are coming together. They need to be acknowledged and go forward with the rest of the people to help them with the enlightenment because th they don't know what to do because there's not enough people that are listening to help the planet right now. There's like a destruction mode going on to destroy our planet. And, and people are saying our ancestors are going, hey, look, we, we, we don't want to see this to happen to our grandchildren and our children to go to come together when I go and speak in Molokai. Please help us. So we're glad someone is coming out to speak out. That's when Mother Mary appeared to me. I have to bring this up with, with, with Mother Teresa. Mother Mary appeared to me because of the sensitivity of the men. They knew, they knew that there was someone. We, we have the ability to, to make a difference on the planet. Men can make the changes. They just, you, you, got, you got to do your work in order to get there. And I think they're not, allowed, they're not willing to do it because they've been in a position of power so much that they don't have to do this work. They could just, you know, the, the system shows them the money talks. You know what I'm saying? The money talks. They could get whatever they want. If, well, if it was a barter trade, they would have to go out like hunters and they wouldn't, they wouldn't be in a position of power. They'd have to go and, 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 and fend for their families in another way like we used to in, in our ancestors, right? You know, it, it's interesting. One of the things that Anastasia spoke about throughout the nine books is, is how we can become healthy. And yes. the way to do that is to plant and raise our own food, but the seeds we hold in our mouth for a period before they're planted. And that way the seed 
picks up our vibration and and produces exactly what we need. We don't need medicines. We need right. healthy food. Yes, yes. I, I, I totally agree with you. And I've been involved with natural foods since I was, I'm, I'm naturally high, what they call, you know, that's our natural state is to be naturally high. You know, I, I grew up with my, my parents were farmers from Pennsylvania. Oh, I didn't know, didn't remember yeah. that or didn't yeah. know. <laughs> my, my mother, Marie Sylvia, yeah, Hollick was from Pennsylvania, Uniontown, Pennsylvania, and uh, with five uh, sisters, you know, so five of her sisters and my grandmother. And we always believed in unity of bringing the family together, uh, you know, a stronghold uh, to, to have occasions where every year we would gather together and, and bring, and now you, you lose it because people are not doing it. Then my father was in Pennsylvania and he was also from a, a farm country in Lansford, was a coal country. But so they this have, must be Western Pennsylvania. Yes, Western. And then my parents met on a dance floor in New York City. I mean, two farmers <laughs> in New York City, and we stay in New York, New Jersey, New York. And what a ride to be in the metropolitan New York. And, and um, you know, and to see the... Um, the healthy foods like you're talking about, the nutrition. Every day, Dr. Oz has something on regards to nutrition and healthy food. And they, and they try to beat up on him and tell him, oh, but this ain't going to help our companies and all this. And he's trying to bring out what will help humanity. You know what I'm saying? Well, again, it's the, the money situation is the problem. Yeah, yeah. And I think if we, you know, they tried the Bitcoin. They tried all these other systems. I think what they just try living authentically from the heart and start speaking the truth, to living your truth, walking your walk, not talking your talk, but walking your walk. And I think because of the dis discipline and the power, I, I think that they could buy whatever they want. So they're not going to, they're not listening to the men, but the women are watching and, and they're saying, okay, now they got the talk shows with Megyn Kelly. You speak up against Megyn Kelly, Trump did, and now she has her own talk show because she spoke up against that Ailes guy, you know, with the, se the sexual harassment and everything brings them to talk shows because they spoke the truth, what went on. And all, more women are coming out. This uh, attorney Eldridge said, as I mentioned before, I can't mention it because of my clients. Uh, I, I have... I, not till 2018, but there's going to be a tsunami of people coming out that are going to be coming down the power trip of, um, of, of the world, not just America, of the well, world. Well, without the collapse of the elite establishment, not only humanity, but Earth as a planet is doomed. Yes, yes. And, and the way it's going and everything, we're, we came back, you know, to help out on the planet in many, many ways. I was in a very peaceful, loving state. I didn't need to come down here. You didn't need to come down here, but we chose to come down to help out. And people don't understand that. They don't have the consciousness of whether it's a past life, present life. They know something, they feel something. Oh, I, I remember this. I, I, um, I experienced this before. How come I, I, I feel like I've done this before? Well, maybe you correct this in this lifetime. That's why you're, you're feeling that. <laughs> well, I, you know? I, I feel like I was born with a mission. Yep. Actually, I was before I was even conceived, I was given a mission. See? See? <laughs> and you had the knowing. See? You had the knowing. Uh, uh, from, a, from, little, from a little kid. <laughs> from a little kid. Yeah. And, and you want to fulfill that and you see, the, the, I don't know, it's, like I said, it's baby planet Earth with baby souls on it. And I think we have to realize these souls aren't really ready to unite together. So the people that are willing to unite together is who we need to surround around the planet right now. Not only that are, are awake, but the doers, the doers that are coming forward, the visionaries, the seers, the artists, the musicians. I was in Woodstock with, with what, what, um, 94. All the musicians around the world are speaking every day, messages, especially Marvin Gaye. What's going on? He was way ahead of his time. He sees what's going on. He knows what's going on. We don't need to go in that direction with war. You listen to his song, 
he was way ahead. They just brought it up with uh, Steve Harvey, brought it up with a with a, a white guy singing, what's going on? And Harvey just was gro- grooving on it, you know, mm-hmm. yesterday. I, I watch, I watch and see what these people are saying in the world. And he's like, wow, man, you you got a gift. He's 26 years old doing, doing Marvin Gaye. What's going on? And, and that's what we need to do is what we gonna do to break through what's going on. We gotta stop this what's going on. We see what's going on. Now we need to stop. And that's where the women are coming out to speak. The men are coming out to speak because they're, they have amazing, amazing gifts and everything. We, the male and the female need to come together. And I think there's a rubbing going on with power, with the male and the female. These warrior men and warrior women, they won't, they won't come together. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. got to have these angel wings. You know, we, got, we, we have to say, hey, look, let, let, let give them a shot what they can do. They're in positions of all over the world. Women are trying to get in because they feel they can make a difference, and they are. Like I mentioned about Mother Teresa. Well, Marie. it's not going to come through making a difference in politics. No. And religion is a challenge as well. Yeah. You know, it's got to go back to the, to the roots, which are pre-religion and pre-politics. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And that's where enlightenment comes in. Like, you know, the creation. They see the child. You think they want to send the child to, 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 to destruct this child down the road? They want to embrace this child and love this child and nurture this child and, and, bring, and, and bring goodness and, and, and joy to, to, to the world with this child and their families. They, they don't want to destruct things on the earth. You know what I'm saying? Why would they want to? They've done so much work, all these souls on the planet, we need to continue to evolve, not devolve. And I think that's what's our problem, Ron, is that we're devolving just like this, uh, these ambers and these volcanoes and everything that's going off. I mean, there's, there's urgencies all over the planet right now. I mean, I'll tell you, I'll give you an example. I saw this out of Brazil, not out of Brazil, Puerto Rico. One chef, one man, now this is a, this is a, a man that has a vision. He's a chef, and it just showed him the other day. He had 12, he, he got 12, he got the government to back him up finally, to give him a hard time. But he fed three and a half million people, one person, one person able to direct 12 soup kitchens because he's a chef. He knows what the Puerto Rican, what they need, where they can help them, where all the electricity, everything went out. That's what we need to do is reconnect everyone. If one man can do that, right? One man can do that. What can we do around the planet to do that, right? Like we talk about, I'll give you an example. They say man's eggs come first in space. My brother's experiment was going up on the Challenger and Discovery. He was going to be the first medical doctor in space. And they said to him, you have two experiments, you and, the, and, and if, we, if we lose you, we have a problem. And that was on the Challenger. And they pushed it aside and said, well, put the eggs first. So you know what they write? They put man's eggs come first. Why did they turn it around and say, we're going to send eggs in space and women, embryos, whatever, are going to go in space? They would have had much more of a, 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 a response when you, man's eggs go into space. It's man. Well, what, well women are involved they're the creation with the embryo right so they could turn around and say women's eggs come and man's eggs come first you know what i mean they could have did it together <laughs> it, it takes actually when anastasia talks about humanity she uses the term man with a capital m as right. if divine man is yeah. man is a divine and it includes the masculine and the feminine right and i think what's going on is why i brought up about the eggs in space and then it did go on a discovery just so you know it'll say dr michael hall you can look it up if you want you know he is the, he was the first medical doctor prepared to go into space but because of the fact they knew that they would be really as a doctor they if something happened to him, well, they knew they had a teacher and someone 
you know, they, they knew on a Challenger they had other people, civilians on there, but to put a doctor on there and we lose them, we got a problem. You know what I mean? Well, you got a problem losing anyone on the shuttle. Well, we lost the whole crew, if you We lost remember, the whole crew. Right? I yeah. mean, I remember when it blew up. <laughs> yeah, but do you know why they were sending eggs in space, by the way? Go ahead. You know yeah, because when, when, when um, uh, it went up on the Discovery, by the way, it went up into space, and it, the astronauts, when they come back from space, lose osteoporosis. They lose bone, bone loss. So they wanted to make a... a uh, you know, to check and see what was causing it in, in, in gravity and non-gravity, how it would affect the bones. And that's why they were sending eggs in space. Hmm. Yeah? Yeah. So that, that's, that's why. On the Discovery, believe it or not, they did send it up. I had the experiment and everything, right? They sent it up. I had the experiment. And, and, uh, and uh, they said, uh, guess what happened when they send the eggs in space on, on the Discovery, since you know what happened on the Challenger? Yeah, I yeah the Challenger I'm familiar with that didn't make it to space. Right, that didn't uh, make it. But what what happened? Uh, All right, so they send the eggs in space on the Discovery, and they found out when it got higher and higher and higher, it, they wouldn't hatch. They wouldn't hatch because of the, the 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 gravity, right, going up and up and up. However, when when they started to come down, they started to hatch. Because of the graph, yeah, they started to hatch as they were coming down. So they found out that there's a certain altitude that they can go to. Then I hate to tell you, but then Kentucky Fried Chicken got in and gave my brother a 50,000 grant to make a better chicken in space when he was going to send the eggs in space. They wanted to, they, they wanted to get in on the man's eggs come first instead of saying, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Again, you know? they were trying to commercialize the venture. They were trying to commercialize it, yeah. And and they did it for the research. You know, the, they took it for the research. But the point is, is that there is a bone loss and all. But could you imagine that when when you're going up, the eggs, they they didn't they didn't hatch. Right. As you're coming down, you wouldn't think that. You would think they wouldn't hatch at all. But at a certain altitude, they do hatch. So you can get to a certain point in space and still have a chicken. <laughs> and don't get <laughs> Kentucky Fried Chicken involved. Just thank God that you can raise a chicken in space coming down. <laughs> so their diet was finger licking good then, huh? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been around, I've been around some, uh, you know, some experiences, you know, where we, 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 we have to bring the male and female together the you know it's in the light i hate to tell you enlightenment we are together we we we, we we're an e we, we become as one and i think that's why people on this earth and i think when they see one another they feel so connected and they feel their physical bodies need to connect and they're getting in a lot of hot soup because it might be a past life it may be a connection they need to settle and I think they're getting in hot soup because they're getting involved in other and in, 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 in where they shouldn't. You know what I'm saying? Sexually, you know what I'm saying? You know, instead of by the hearts and all and saying, I recognize you, I see you, but I'm this is my life right now. They're, they're going beyond the barrier of male and female now. They're going beyond that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They're going another direction i know i know humanity itself is in a very big turmoil i don't know if you've watched any of laura eisenhower's uh, yes. videos, but she's well, another woman that you know they tried to connect her with this guy and they, would, they wanted to take her to mars and everything and yeah. she didn't she didn't go on that and uh you know she she's gone through you know many of us light workers have yeah. gone through very difficult challenges that we've had to face in our lives yes yes and, and and it's really amazing what you didn't know what i shared about with the challenger about my oldest brother michael at a boston uh -huh. medical center you had no idea <laughs> this is a shock to you <laughs> so, <laughs> you know you shared that but pe people are like whoa i don't know about that you know there's some things that uh, we need to start joining together our hearts our uh, our authenticness on the planet. Um, I, I think that 
if we start doing the healing and nego negotiate in a way to come together, then I think we could start moving in the right direction for enlightenment. But if we're going to be tugging at each other and rubbing at each other, you it's see- It's not about people. competition. It's cooperation. Right. Exactly. Oh, by the way, you have about five minutes left. Okay. Okay. Great. Great. <laughs> So, but anyway, yeah, so getting back to this with the, you know, with the women, I even say it in the book, you can get it on Amazon if you want. I'm not promoting this because I, I'm, I'm talking about it because it helps abuse women in Texas and all around the world, all the proceeds. I don't get anything from it except to voice it to, to, to acknowledge the women and the enlightenment. That's why I'm doing it. And, and the other thing that brings in about the, the missions and all, I've seen much, a lot, spiritual women of today, and I'm pleased with the spiritual sisterhood movement. And that's what's happening. And moving forward at a great speed, I had a vision about women of the world, and they were gathering and praying and preparing their household, schools, churches, neighborhoods, and friends for the times ahead. And I have seen the angels touching their heart and souls to fill them with the love for themselves and other women to succeed their spiritual journey as they work toward their very own spiritual anointment and purpose to come to pass with a heart full, full of faith, hope, and love. And this vision showed me that it would be like a communal love and, ex and acceptance of one another. And that's what we need to do. Women are known for being warriors and leaders in this life. And that is what makes for stronger family ties that bind men. It says here, men are warriors as well. And when their spouses stand behind them with prayer to strengthen them as they battle the ways of this world, they become champions. And I talked about the chosen champions on that from Molokai. Christ says in the Bible to pray for your husbands. Father, help my husband to trust in you with all his heart. Father, help my husband to trust. Oh, yeah. Father, help my husband to trust in you with all his heart. Not depending on his own understanding, but acknowledging you in all his ways so he knows what direction our family should take. Proverbs 3, 5, 6. And right. says, pray digitally for him, for Christ shall make a way for his soul to be led by your faith. That's what we need to do. We need, we need to go trudge forward and bring enlightenment in on this planet. And, and it's being, I can honestly say that I have met some amazing women on my spiritual journey in my lifetime. And, and it'll go on and on and on. I met a woman who was a African shaman and I'll never forget it. She was the pioneer when I, when I actually appeared, when Christ appeared to me for the men. And that's what's really upsetting to me is it says here, Reverend, an African shaman who is a guardian of the 80 acre parcel of mountain land in Northern California, alongside a man as a yogi, sometimes uh, spelt yogi. Uh, his name was Vaj in Middleton. And I tell you the story, I don't have to read it, but they were my guides to, in the wilderness where I saw golden angels and Christ appeared to me. So many other people having these experiences and I wanna hear from them, I want them to share it, I want them, they could call in if they want. They can reach, reach you, you know, Ron, they can reach, they can reach me, if Valent, you know, they know where to reach me, Valentine. Uh, they can reach other people in the communities. I think people are being silent about these spiritual experiences and they're not able to, they're, they're like people aren't ready for it, but they are, they are ready for it. I think people are ready for that, for those pioneers to come forward now. I think there's a silent scream that is going up from humanity to bring positive change and no more of the insane games that have been going on for so long. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And, 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 it, and it's, it's time. And, and, it's, and, and it's not all this blame and bringing everybody down. Why don't you uplift the hearts of humanity? And, 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 you know, you're going to have to clear out things. You're going to have to start clearing out all this, you know, dark night of the soul with Gary Zukov. We have to clear it. You have to clear it out in order to bring light. That's very true. <laughs> you know, you got to do it. 
You know, oh, hey, I see Gary. You got to meet with Gary when I'm on Maui at the pool. Yeah, Gary. It is I've read at least two or three of his books. Yeah. So, you know, a dark night of soul. Oprah brings him on. Hey, I don't know who Oprah is. I'm in a wilderness like I was in Molokai. You know, we mentioned about Gary. We need to bring forward. We got enough. We have an amazing, uplifting, their gifts around the planet. People are very, they are evolved. They're very educated. And we need to come together to bring that education of, of, of hearts together around the world. We just Indeed. need to do it in our communities. And I think that's where, where we can start our flame of light, golden light, the purity, start to ignite and bring, bring sunshine to the planet and hope, faith, love, and joy to their hearts. I really believe that, Ron. Well, thank you very much, and I appreciate it. And as I always end, I always say namaste, uh, uh, which the divine in me recognizes the divine in you, and it's actually in everything. But yes. we don't always see it. <laughs> yes, and namaste to you, brother. And I just send our blessings to uh, the, golden, the golden sons, which is the Christ light, the, the feminine, the warrior women in angel wings, the warrior men with angel wings to come together and enlighten and help on the planet. And we send our golden roses to the hearts here around the planet. Okay. Yeah? Well, aloha. Aloha, brother. Alive from Maui. <laughs>